Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today we're going to talk about Python automation libraries. Uh, the first topic I want to cover is web automation. Python has a ton of these that are useful that you can use. One very popular one that's been around a long time is called Selenium. Selenium is a tool that's not just used with Python, you can use it with other pro products as well. But Python hooks into the Selenium web driver and lets you navigate web pages using the Python programming language. This is helpful for testing, you know, the right, the right page loads. Um, you, you can click on buttons in that page. You can log in and log out. And of course, you can mix and match by using Selenium to navigate the web page and then using another Python library, such as Beautiful Soup or Scrapey, to uh, extract data from that web page. Playwright is kind of a newcomer in this field. And I believe a lot of people are finding it really helpful. This one is made specifically for Python, so you can just pip install it. And then you can start navigating around and doing different things with, um, with it. So I highly recommend you check that one out if you haven't already. Uh, Scrapey has been around a long time. Uh, it is useful as a way to extract data from websites. It's fast, simple, and extensible. And it's been around quite a while. A lot of people use it as a web scraper and a, or a spider. Beautiful Soup has been around since the early, early days of Python. I think I used it way back uh, with Python 2.5 or 2.6. So it's been around forever, and it's really awesome. It's a one module, so it's just like a one file download, and you install it, and boom, you're done. And it's really good for just parsing simple XML, or HTML, I mean. Definitely worth checking out. I highly recommend it. The web page still shows this fun little thing from Alice in Wonderland. I've always found that kind of amusing. Okay, GUI automation. You may not think about this, but sometimes you need to automate your GUI. And by GUI, I mean a graphical user interface. So like this web page is a GUI in and of itself, because you can like click on buttons, uh, type in a text box. These are all widgets. And these different tools help you um, automate that. So if you have a complicated um, UI, you can use something like this to automate it. Then, you know, these are useful for tools outside of the browser, whereas you might use Playwright and, and Selenium for the browser. You would use these for like Microsoft Office or your own custom application. Sickly's been around a while. Uh, Sickly X, I believe, is the newest version. Um, it automates everything you see on your screen. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it uses image recognition through um, OpenCV to identify GUI components. I haven't really tried this one out a lot, but it's been around a while and it's pretty, uh, I know a lot of people have liked it. Another popular uh, choice is PyWin Auto. This is Python specific. Um, you can use it, I think it's I think it's primarily for Microsoft Windows. I don't think it works on anything else. In fact, looking at the web page, it does say PyWin32, which means it's probably Windows only. So this is really good for uh, working with Windows GUIs and controlling it and trying to click in buttons and enter text. Um, the other one that's kind of cool is Pi Auto GUI. This tool is also useful for um, clicking, clicking items. I think you have to tell it where to click, but it can send keystrokes, mouse clicking windows, take screenshots, really helpful for doing uh, GUI automation. Okay, Excel automation. Python has a ton of Excel packages. These are just four of the popular ones. There are a bunch of other ones as well. Um, OpenPy Excel is good for reading and writing uh, Excel documents. So you can use it to automate ingesting Excel and turning it into something else, basically. Or you could ingest, you know, whatever Python accepts, like JSON, XML, whatever. Ingest that and then spit it back out as Open, uh, open and you spit it back out as Excel using Open OpenPixel. Pandas is kind of similar, but Pandas is more for like data uh, analysis, and that's what it's usually used for. However, it can ingest all kinds of it can ingest uh, CSVs and Excel as well, and it actually uses OpenPixel under the covers for some of its um, Excel activities. So I think that's a valid solution to use Pandas as well. Um, XLSX Writer only writes Excel documents; it can't read them. But it does some things that OpenPixel can't, or Pandas can't do it either. So check it out if you need to do some specialized stuff like um, sparklines, for example. Excel Wings ties more closely with Excel. 
So while these top three don't require Excel to be installed, Excel Wings does. So if you need to, to work more closely um, controlling how Excel itself works, like dealing with it, I would definitely check out Excel Wings because it's, it's more for that kind of thing. Okay, other great tools for automation. Report Lab is great for creating PDFs. Python already lets you ingest lots of different data types. So if you want to output it as something else, you could use Report Lab. Uh, another good utility would be ReasyPrint because it can take HTML documents and spit it out as a PDF. Uh, if you need to edit a PDF, and by edit, I mean like chop it up, like split out pages or extract text, um, PDFRW2 will probably help with that. You might also need to get PDF Miner to pull out text or Camelot to work with tables. Um, Pillow is good for image processing. So if you need to convert images from like a PNG to JPEG or what have you, Pillow is probably the go-to library for that right now. Um, Pillow also integrates well with uh, GUI libraries like WX Python, Tcantor, PySimple GUI, uh, and others, and lets you uh, display images in those GUIs pretty well. And it's like a dependency for a ton of other packages. So well worth your time in learning how to use it. Um, I, I threw X, LXML on here because it's great for reading and writing XML in a Pythonic manner. And there's like a ton of other tools that you can use, whether they're built in with Python or not, um, like the JSON module or the XML module. Um, there's some zipping modules you could you could use to automate your, your work. Um, anyway, I just want to point out Python is amazing for automating as well as for ETL, and I just recommend that you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.